Okay, just declare this time. Uh, let me just make sure, yeah, I'm on the right screen. Oh, a little bit of light on. Okay. One diamond by North, a bit of spade, they bit two clubs, jump to three spades, and then they just pass. Okay. Ten of clubs. That means the king and queen are probably over here. Although not necessarily, could be from queen ten. Queen ten nine could be top of an internal sequence. They haven't bid, so I could play low. How many tricks I'm going to lose? Most likely a heart. Two clubs is three. Two diamonds is five. Spade is six. Probably going to go two off here. Spades have to break three, three. So the only way I can get any extra tricks somehow is in clubs and diamonds and maybe ditch a club or a diamond on one of the other. So I think I'm going to have to duck this for a kickoff. Okay, so... Hmm. One line, it looks like 10x. That's an interesting card. So now my Jack of Clubs is now good. The big question is who has got the Ace of Hearts? If this hand has, then I can play, can I play a heart? Play a heart now. Play the ace and then play a heart. Let's see, what difference does that make? Why is it throwing a diamond away? Okay. Let's see, play a heart. Play a diamond. Play the ace. Play a heart and off it. Um, don't think it makes any difference. Okay, so that's good news that the ace is over there. I would have preferred it over there. Okay, so I've got to go in with that. I'll play the ace of spades. Play a heart. It's interesting. May as well. Do I play another one? Yeah, I may as well. Probably going to be queen 10 here. Since the shortage in clubs. Empty the dishwasher. Can empty the dishwasher. What happened there? Yeah, as I suspected, spades breaking four two. So, um, I play that. Play a club this on Rob set. So, if I play that, now I play a club. This one's going to have to rough it. And then play a diamond. I think it's out of hearts and clubs. I don't know if that's the third heart that's been played or, or not, actually. Anyway, I'm going to play that. Now I'm going to play that. Hopefully this has end played them. I can't think how many hearts have been played. Yeah, I think we're going to have another heart. It makes no odds. Oh, he's going to go two off there, I think. Don't see how I can do any better than that. Yeah, two off, it says. I went two off, so. Four spades. Got a couple of hearts to lose, maybe. Um, got a couple of diamonds to lose, maybe. Play the hearts. 
got to hope the Queen is here, really, to only lose one heart. I think I'll play... Oh, wow. Why would you play the Jack? Okay, so they break 3 3. If I draw all the trumps, then I've got to take a heart for this. Is that roughing? Yeah. It didn't matter they threw the jack of spades away before I had a mark for us there anyway, so. <clears throat> yeah, I can't draw trumps. And then go to hearts. I'll be, um, I'll be um, forced. One no trump, three clubs. Okay, some sort of my diamond transfer. That is. They doubled for a club lead. So I'm going to lose two clubs and a spade and a diamond. It's whether I lose a heart, so I should take the heart for this. I think I should probably go up with the ace. That could be a singleton. Um, so the worry is if the diamonds are 4 1. Because I kind of want to play a diamond towards the queen. This hand's more likely to have a singleton. So I'm actually going to do this. Well, that's kind of handy. That looks like that's got shortage in hearts now. You know what? I think I'm just going to try and draw diamonds. A bit worried this hand's going to rub a heart. Jesus. This hand should actually rough a diamond, a club here, and send back another heart. Yeah, it sends back another heart. Has this got another diamond? No, it hasn't. It's fortunate for me. One off. Win the ace of clubs, play a diamond. Yeah. Looks like I should have played diamond straight away rather than the spade, so that's going to be a bad board. I shouldn't have really gone. Maybe I shouldn't go for the 4 1 diamond break. I've got a 4 1 heartbreak. I think it's the same thing, really, in some respects. Queen of diamonds lead. 4 5 6. So I should win there. Play the ace of clubs and ditch my heart. That looks like a singleton. So I play that. Get rid of that loser. So now I've got no losers other than in spades. So the big question is, do I take a spade finesse? Or do I put in the six or something and maybe play for, I don't know. Um, I think I should play the queen here, really. Yeah, play the queen. Let's say there's king x there. Uh, no, I think I've got to play the queen. Didn't have to, but <laughs> is it five one break? 
Okay, so if I play that, then the jack comes out, and that's okay. So now I've got the rest other than one. Two no trumps. Four, five, and four diamonds. So oh, I can see a problem here. I play the ace, play diamonds. Oh no, 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 it's okay. I'm gonna play the ace. Now I'm gonna play diamonds. Okay, gives me a spade trick. Looks like the king of clubs is over here. Now, do I duck? Let me count the tricks. Queen of spades is a winner. King, queen, jack of hearts gets rid of a spade, a heart, and a club. So there's no point now in ducking because I've only got one more loser. So whenever you've got only one more loser, you should obviously not duck. Okay, when you've got two losers, that's when you can look duck duck. So the idea is, is what's known as rectifying the count, where you duck to just get one loser. Okay, so it's good practice just to do that because something good could happen. You know, they could get squeezed or something like that. Even if you can't spot the squeeze yourself, sometimes they can get squeezed or they can even get pseudo squeezed. Or they can just discard wrong, you know, like pseudo squeeze. I guess that's the same thing as a pseudo squeeze in some respects. Okay, so where are we at now? So I've just got to make sure I play this the right way. I don't think it's going to really matter, though. Um, so if I play all the hearts and ditch stuff, now if I play all the diamonds, they can see all the cards. So I need to play all the hearts and ditch stuff. So you have to kind of play them in the right order. I don't think I'm going to get anything from this, to be honest with you. Could play club and club. No. Nah. Ditch that one first, anyway. I mean, I don't think it's going to make any difference. Someone's going to keep the queen of, or the ace of clubs, whichever one it is, I can't remember. East has opened a heart. Okay. Uh, it looks like they might be 5-3. My set hand's got four, two. One heart, two clubs, two diamonds, two spades. And the two play, I know. Looks like they've got three hearts here then. Um, see, I don't have any losers here. Unless the clubs are 4-1, Ace King of Diamonds gets rid of those two and that gets rid of the King of Clubs. So actually, I'm not really... I need to just draw spades. Well, I might as well win cheaply. So I'm just going to play another low spade. Now if this hand plays a heart, I guess I have to just play a low club here. Can't rough it in my hand. Uh, 
Um, I could play a low diamond. Uh, that's not good. I'm going to play this. Overtake. I hope the 2 2. Ugh. Uh, I made no odds. Two last spades are 2 1, so. Made my contract. That's the best I can do. There's always going to lose two hearts and three spades. So, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, the, the thing there was not to lose control of the hand. 13 count. If I played the ace of spades and another spade, I think I can uh, potentially lose control. I'm not sure. Three no trumps. Got three diamonds. Four clubs is seven. Heart is eight. And I've got to generate a spade trick. So on the diamond lead, that helps me. So let's play low first, maybe. Oh, I was hoping maybe the 10 or jack might go in, but okay, I'm just going to play a low spade. Will the heart come back now? Oh no, that's good. Right, that guarantees me two spade tricks now as well. 10 of spades wins. Queen of spades gets rid of heart. <sighs> Somebody might have four diamonds and the king of hearts here. So I think I've got to squeeze. So if I play that, I play the 10 of spades winner. I play the ace of hearts. And now I play all the clubs. So yeah, they're putting the diamond away now. Now the queen of spades, the two diamonds have gone. So someone's having to hold on to the diamonds and the hearts. Maybe they can't do that. There we go. See, four diamonds and the king of hearts. So that's a nice little squeeze there. I love it when a squeeze comes together. <laughs> five hearts, three spades, double, four spades, double, five clubs, five hearts. Three spades by west, so east is more like to hold the queen of hearts. Wow, I've got one each. Okay, one light to be bleeding from the. Now I've got to be careful here. I'll be playing that. Now, five clubs, I can get rid of a diamond, so I don't have to take a diamond finesse. Question is, do I want to win? I don't think it matters. All right. I can claim now, pretty much. Eight. Queen of Spades. Okay, let's just play it. Right, there we go. So that was a critical thing there, is not to play the King of Clubs. So now I've got a marked Club Finesse. I've just got the rest, I can take. I can just play the clubs and chuck away a diamond to make all the rest of the contract uh, cards. Tricks. Okay, I think that was pretty, pretty solid stuff. Board three was the bad one. Yeah, so board three was the bad one. I should have just played diamonds and then I would have been able to get rid of the diamonds before they rough the hearts. So board three was bad, that will score bad. Board one, I don't think I can, yeah, I'm always two up. So it's board three is bad, everything else is fine. Uh, what, have I missed the score in here? What have I done here? Um,
Oh, I don't know what happened to the score. I thought no one may get a score. I don't quite know what's happened there. Right, okay. I think I've done okay. <laughs>